everybody, this is Jasmine from Jazz Draws Art, and today I am continuing with my playing card series, and I'm still going along with the Outlander theme. So the way I decided to go about this was I was going to draw each of the suit's kings first, then go through all the queens, then the jacks, and then the number cards. So for the king of clubs, I chose Fergus. Now as to reasoning why, honestly, it's <laughs> the only one that seemed to be total making sense to me was Jamie Fraser as king of hearts because of course but I knew that I wanted Fergus to be a king as well, and so I decided why not just make him the king of clubs. It was the next in line for me. Just kind of made sense in a way. No logical reasoning, it just kind of felt right to me. So I decided to go with adult Fergus because as much as I love young Fergus, he was my favorite. I still really love the actor that plays adult Fergus and the way he plays him now. It's just there was something about the spunky little kid version. Um, but I decided to go with the adult version of Fergus because I wanted it to make sense with the rest of the deck for the characters I would be using. So I decided to just go ahead and use the adult version. Although, that being said, I may make a variant card of this so there would be two versions for the same card where there would also be a uh, young Fergus. So him as a child and him as an adult. But that would come after I decided to finish all of the deck. And so I I went forth and just kind of went about getting a quick sketch done so I could lay out what I kind of wanted to show in the picture and what I didn't want to show in the card. It's also hard to decide how big and how small you want certain things to be. Like, the hat is not my strong point, but I was able to get it somewhat okay when I refined it. And as well as trying to get the angle of his jaw and his cheekbones right, that was also quite a bit of a struggle, but I feel like in the end it was worth it. Fergus's character is so, so good. I love Fergus. Like, ever since they first found him, he cracked me up. I love the back and forth that he has with Claire and Jamie, and all the funny little remarks he makes to Murtaugh. You could tell that he saw them in a way of parents, as well as calling them like Madame and Milord and Milady. So he called them as though he was like they were his master, which of course is to show respect, but I also love the fact that Jamie and Claire both just agreed, even without spoken word at times, that he was like their son. And I loved watching Jamie like carry him to bed and I loved watching Fergus stay up with Claire and brushing her hair and waiting with her and just being there for her. He was so sweet. And yeah, even now, I love Fergus and I love him with Marsley and he's a very, very good character. He's just through and through. You can tell that he looked up to Jamie so much that he tried to grow up to become him while still having his own little spunk to him. But he's matured so well. And so I definitely knew that I had to draw Fergus. Not to mention that I also wanted to do some other characters, but I've already done those ones on my channel so far. So I'm going to save the ones that I've done already for a little bit later. So this is a new character for you guys to see from Outlander. This is Fergus. One of the things that I struggled with um, drawing this was making sure that I had like the proportions right because it was hard for me to get the face right and everything so I ended up just going off camera a bit so I could really clean and refine and like reshape everything because I felt like it was just kind of wonky and I wanted it to be really tightened up really neat so it would match the Jamie card that did take a long time, so if I had included it in the video, this video would be, like, twice as long, I believe. So, <laughs> you're welcome, I saved you some time. 
And here I tried to do the same thing I did with the other video for Jamie's card where I take the colors from the photo but I try and make them a little bit more vibrant, a little bit brighter just so they can be a nice flat base as a playing card because playing cards can be quite bright. Even though typically not very many of them have more than like the odd color, usually it's like black, white, little yellow, and red. But I want to make these more of like the character cards for them because there are different decks that are customized that you can get for like different things, different shows, cartoons, books. And I really like the idea of making an Outlander drawn playing deck. What I liked about drawing for Fergus was that he... I was able to find like a stoic look to kind of match Jamie's and you can see that I'm referencing the other card to make sure that it still stays in line with the other one. The hardest part is trying to connect the two drawings and make sure they fit equally on top and bottom when it's reflected and flipped over a bit. Just so you make sure that everything lines up because cards are continuous, the design usually is just straight up and down one way to the other, the lines all follow and connect to each other and it's hard to do that especially when you want them to have like a looking off into the distance but not a side profile because a lot of cards are either a side profile of the face or full front and I wanted to show a little bit of the side so it looks more like they're looking off rather than just the very flat boring look. I want to give it a little bit more life to it. To save time, I did what I did in the other video where I just took all the color layers and I copied them, pasted them, flipped them, and flipped them again, and lined them up with the lines below so that way I wouldn't have to color everything twice. I could just do it the once and make sure everything was lined up. Now, I had a little bit of a hard time making a club. You'd think it's easy, it's like three circles and a line put together, but for some reason, it's actually harder than it looks, and you try and make it so that it's just placed in the right way, but it doesn't seem to work out for me for some reason. I don't know, most days I could get this done, but I guess today was just a little bit rougher than usual, but I ended up getting it. I did just take from the other card I did and copy and paste the king so I wouldn't have to rewrite the letter, that way they would be completely uniform together. And I wanted to make sure that the scale of the spade, sorry, not the spade, the club, would match the size of the heart as well. I found it quite refreshing to do a project like this because it's something I haven't quite done before. I've done something similar to it, but not in this form. And so. I really enjoy making things, like, of course I want to be a comic book artist, but I also really enjoy making things like posters and cards and things that just have, like, their own little unique design to them. It's just a one piece, not a full-on painting, it's not just a full-on illustration. It's its own unique stylized piece of art, and it's something that's meant to be used, displayed, and I really like the concept of that. I also would really love to make album covers. And there we go, the finished piece. And thank you so much you guys for watching. Make sure to stay tuned to like this video, to subscribe to my channel for more content like this, and I hope to see you guys again in the next video. Alright, see you guys. Bye!